Well, Charlie may have been happy at the chocolate factory, but it's a business that's tearing the Thompson family apart. In fact, the falling out has become so bitter, a judge compared it to a Shakespearean tragedy after Pam took her son Chris to court. For nine years, we were a great, happy family business. I absolutely saw her as my mum, 100%. They're not part of my company, so I can't give you information about them. I believe she's just absolutely trying to crush us. Yeah, she just won't give us a break. It's an interesting way to deal with the media. Call the police. A real dogfight over who owned the biscuit in the first place. He's not done anything wrong. <laughs> He's worked so hard for so long. Chris Thompson and his partner Amy are devastated. A life aimed at confection perfection has led to rejection. We worked extremely hard to get Noosa Chocolate Factory to where it is today. And then in April, for a motive we're still unsure of, we were um, told that we didn't have anything to do with the business ever again. The business was built up to a string of retail stores, but it started out small. We were a family business. Um, Mum was fantastic at doing um, the book work and ingredient ordering. And my father was amazing in the factory making our beautiful products. And Amy and I were the powerhouse of trying to get it out there and um, sell the product. Before they had stores, Chris and Amy sold the product at farmers markets. The market days were pretty tough. You're obviously getting up at one o'clock in the morning. Chris's mum, Pam Thompson, received an inheritance which was invested into setting up the business. What was the family relationship like back in those days? We were a fantastic family. Like, you know, I've got, had so much love for my mother. Chris says he registered the name Noosa Chocolate Factory under his ABN. In 2013, the first retail stores were opened and the business took off. Revenue climbed from 250 grand per year to eventually hit $4 million. Last year, Pam was able to buy this $2 million home overlooking the beach at Noosa, all thanks to their little chocolate factory that was picking up awards along the way. When the company was winning awards, you guys were, were, yeah, were down exactly. there collecting yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. we were seen as you know, the owners, you know, the founders of Noosa Chocolate Factory. But that claim is what will eventually land them in the federal court. You see, in April, Pam's lawyers informed Chris by letter that he was removed as a director of the business and ordering he and Amy never to set foot in any of the stores. Our lives were just absolutely shattered. In April, not only did we lose our business, as we thought it was our business, but we lost our family. The letter of demand accused Chris of withholding cash takings from the stores. He denies that claim and says he's still unclear as to why he was removed. I still love my mum and we st I was still, I'm still trying to find out what the motive was in removing us. Unfortunately, there are some external factors which I believe has led this on to our removal from the business. Tensions at the company are now running high. We were confronted by two store managers after simply filming from a public footpath. Where do Chris and Amy operate from these days? I can't discern that information to you at the moment, I'm sorry. They're not part of my company, so I can't give you information about them. Things have got pretty nasty, have they? Um, not necessarily, no. I just don't have any information to disclose upon the topic. They said they were going to call their general manager, but instead complained about us to police. It's an interesting way to deal with the media. Call the police. We also tried to chat to Pam at her Noosa home, but she didn't want to talk. I wanted to have a chat with you about the court case with your son. Did you have a few minutes just to have a chat with us, Pam? So how did this messy family bust up land in the federal court with a judge comparing it to a Shakespearean tragedy. So there's two Noosa chocolate factory stores right there on one of Brisbane's busiest streets. And now, just across the road, Chris and Amy have opened up a new chocolate shop. That blue sign up there called Amy Sargentson's. And Mum Pam is not very happy with them. Chris and Amy were selling their new products with branding calling themselves 
founders of the Noosa Chocolate Factory. So we believe we're saying the right thing and many people agree with us, but um, I don't believe uh, my mother was happy for us to say that we were the founders of those brands. Pam took them to the federal court, ordering any link to her company be removed. She also demanded her son hand back control of the Noosa Chocolate Factory website and Instagram accounts, which he has now complied with. Pam also accuses Chris of taking a Range Rover car as well as $500,000 in company loans and chocolate making equipment. Claims he denies. She is seeking that I pay back um, over $200,000 for equipment in my possession, but this equipment is literally no more than ten dollars or $15,000 worth. Justice John Logan has now sent both parties to mediation. And try and go and come to some resolution which they can all live with, because otherwise the judge is going to have to make a decision that one party is not going to like. Lawyer Sam Macedoni says family members heading into business together need to get individual advice. It is very important that where you've got two or three parties to an arrangement, that each party have their own independent lawyer and their own independent financial advice. Chris Thompson says he didn't realise a company restructure back in 2013, which made him a director of the Noosa Chocolate Factory, also gave Pam full ownership. We always thought that the business was a partnership between Amy, myself and my mother. The Amy Sargentson brand is now their full-time focus, but they still want to know why they were dumped. To do that to a son particularly, like you've just done nothing but try and look after his family. I, I just want to meet her again and I believe that when we all see each other face to face, we'll remember just how good things were. Pam Thompson says she's unable to comment while the matter is before the court. Her statement is on our website.